Born down in a dead man's town. First kick I took was when I hit the ground. And the fact is all of that. Two, one, two, three, four, one, two. Born down in a dead man's town. First kick I took was when I hit the ground. You end up like a dog that's been beat too much And then you spend half your life just try to cover it up Born down in a dead man's town The first kick I took was when I hit the ground You end up like a dog that's been beat too much And then you Spend half your life just try to cover it up. Quote from Amazon.com review. The 1970 publication, The New Soldier, published by Vietnam Veterans Against the War. Introduction and conclusion by John Kerry. Quote, this is obscene. A bunch of acid-dropping hippies desecrating our country in numerous ways. This liberal animal, John Kerry, like most liberals, is a traitor to our country. Just look at the pictures. You can tell they are so drugged out of their minds. This is insane to vote for an idiot like John Kerry. I like this one pic that shows these two Eyes glazed over from all the heavy drug use, donning the infamous communist salute, clutched fist in the air, and upside down flag picks in the book. Oh, also included is the infamous speech in front of the committee about lies our servicemen were carrying out against the poor Viet Cong and villagers. M Gee, maybe Jack asked John Kerry was just hallucinating from all the drugs he took in Vietnam, and he had a bad trip, and all that never happened. I am glad my father a 20-year serviceman and vet, isn't alive today to see USA, even considering to put a traitor into the White House would have been too much for him. In 2008, I guess we're going to put Charles Manson in office. The one thing my uncle told me about Vietnam that I really believed was one day we were driving in Boston, uh, trying to find some place to have lunch. And I suggested um, that we have Thai food. He said, fuck that, I had enough of that shit in Vietnam. <laughs> in Vietnam, the soldiers, they came home alone, back to America. In previous wars that were fought overseas, the decommissioning process would take several weeks, and so the soldiers would be led into groups into a decommissioning area, and then get on a boat, and then be shipped back, and then be decommissioned on another base in America, and then take the train back home. So after the Second World War, Korea took, uh, I don't know, two or three weeks to actually get back. Uh, from Vietnam, they were flown back, uh, basically right from the battlefields to their uh, parents' home. One of the crucial conceptual developments in the U.S. war in Vietnam was the uh, development of an anti-terror program known as the Phoenix Program. Uh, it explicitly linked an internal security measure with anti-terrorism. The program was mirrored on the strategies of the North Vietnamese, the development of a network informant, of informants, isolation, and even assassination of political opponents and carrying out of what is called false flag operations, the time-honored strategy of building your own political position by faking attacks by the enemy. So uh, in order to justify U.S. presence in Vietnam, uh, a massacre by the Viet Cong would be faked. 
for instance, this is pretty well documented and appears in a movie called um, The Quiet American sort of depicts that. Douglas Valentine, who is a, more or less the expert on the Phoenix program, uh, has noted that many of the manager of this, managers of the Phoenix program have now re-entered government service to work within the U.S. Homeland Security Department. Two weeks ago in a Dutch newspaper, a man argued that the Dutch government might similarly be organizing false flag organizations, or setting up a kind of a fake terrorist cell in order to recruit informants. On Tuesday, he was killed in Nijmegen, this writer. Volunteered for the army on my birthday. They draft white trash first round here anyway. I did two tours of duty in Vietnam. When I came home, I had a brand new plan. I bought the seeds from Colombia and Mexico. I plant them up a holler down Copperhead Road. Now the DEA's got the choppers in the air I wake up screaming like I'm back over there You learn a thing or two from Charlie, don't you know? So you better not come down Copperhead Road Copperhead Road Copperhead Road Copperhead Road Copperhead Road From the conclusion to The New Soldier by John Kerry For many of us, there is little to remember but the promises, and most poignantly, the loss of the symbols of those promises of John and Robert Kennedy, of Martin Luther King, of Medgar Evers, of Fred Hampton and Malcolm X, of Alison Krauss, Sandy Schuer, Jeffrey Miller and William Schroeder from Kent State, and Philip Gibbs and James Green from Jackson State, the loss, too, of friends of Richard Pershing, Peter Johnson, Johnny White, Don Droves, and the other 53,000 Americans who have lost their lives in this degrading and immoral war. The promises of peace candidates who were not peacemakers. I found this text on the internet. Actually, finding a copy of the book is, is impossible now. Um, when John Kerry ran for Congress several years after it was published, uh, he bought up almost all of the copies he could find and destroyed them. When Kerry announced that he was going to run for president, apparently someone said, by November of 2004, no one would remember which side of the war he'd fought on. One, two, one, two, three, four. Down by the... Gas lights by the refinery, down by the street lights by the penitentiary. I spent ten years running down the road. I ain't got nowhere to run. I ain't got nowhere to go. 